But in an everyday sense, we can see illusions as very, very important. Like, like I'm, I'm always amazed at my colleagues' ability to think of their work as really, really important. I mean, unfortunately, I, I can't get involved in that illusion too much. But you can see it's really, really helpful, right? I mean, part of my problem is I weigh myself against Nietzsche. And, you know, that's a really losing proposition because that guy's a creative genius. And I'm just a kind of a fairly good humdrum Nietzsche scholar, right? Um, but it really helps to have the illusion that one's work is really important. It invigorates you. It gets you more involved in your projects. Okay, so those kind of illusions, in an obvious sense, are really, really helpful. But also think about think about a sportsman. It turns out that most really prime sportsmen have incredible overinflation of their abilities. But that overinflation of ability, that illusion, helps them perform better. And to give a last case that is often given in epistemology classes. Um, Allegedly, there are statistical um, evidence for the claim that if you are trapped behind enemy lines, let's say this was in the Second World War and the Vietnam War, um, you had, let's say, an 80% an, an chance of being captured, right? But if you believed, uh, you know, I think of, a, and I'm an American citizen, so I can say this without sounding anti-American, if you're extremely American gung-ho and you say, I'm the guy who's going to survive, that increases your chances of being, that, that means your chances of being captured before they were 80%, now they go down to 65%, let's say. I'm pulling these numbers out of the air. So on the basis of evidence, that is, if you're thinking merely epistemically, that is being sensitive to the evidence, you'd still think on the balance of probabilities, I'm going to be captured. But if you can get yourself over that belief through illusion and tell yourself, oh, no, I'm not going to be captured, it has the pragmatic effect of lessening your chance of being captured. So you can see why it's in your best interest. So I'm just giving you these cases where in everyday life and in exceptional cases, it helps to have illusions. Illusions are necessary often to animate our activity. In fact, Nietzsche thinks if we strip ourselves of illusion, we strip ourselves of nearly every impetus towards genuine and creative activity.